impossible. My trap was perfect. How did he do it? I have to know. Somebody tell me. It's not fair. There was no way, I tell you. No way he could have gotten out. Somebody tell me. Do you hear me? Somebody tell me how he did it. I have to know. Hello, and welcome back to The Craziest Theory. The place where we pull back the curtain of sanity and discover the truth hidden by conventional wisdom. Today's target is the Suicide Squad sequel, where all signs are pointing to Batflex Return. How? Why? Let me explain. Back in February, After months of speculation, Ben Affleck went on Jimmy Kimmel and confirmed that he was quitting as Batman, very literally hanging up his cowl. But what if I told you this was all an act? Would you believe that it's an elaborate trick designed to throw fans off the scent, because even as he sat on Kimmel's couch, Affleck had already agreed to be in James Gunn's Suicide Squad 2. Information about the Batman movie has been released steadily, in part, I think, to keep the Batman fans distracted. Yes, debate the casting decisions. Complain about Twilight Sparkle all you want. Because while your attention is on the left hand, the right hand is doing some very interesting things. In July, Ben Affleck was observed to be obsessively training at the gym to the point of collapse sculpting his body to a peak physical condition and becoming more ripped than he was when he played Batman. The thing is, nobody knows why he's decided to undertake this extreme training. News articles could only guess that he was just doing this because he felt like it. Let's be real, Ben Affleck is an actor, and actors don't make major changes to their appearance without a good reason. This type of intense, dedicated training suggests that he's bulking up for an intense action role he's about to begin filming. But here's the thing. None of Ben Affleck's upcoming projects are big action movies. So, unless you think he needs to be buffer than Batman for a movie where a well-to-do husband who allows his wife to have affairs in order to avoid divorce becomes a prime suspect in the disappearance of her lovers, or a film where a former high school basketball phenom struggles with alcoholism and is offered a coaching job at his alma mater, or a movie in which the U.S. military forms a squadron of unconventional recruits during World War II to trick the German army into thinking there were outposts and bases where there were only mannequins, props, and inflatable tanks. Then... The only other explanation is that he is training to play Batman. We also have to consider the fact that he's done this before. Two months before filming Batman vs. Superman, he went into a similar period of intense workouts to sculpt his body for playing Batman. Suicide Squad 2 begins filming late September, which is approximately two months from when Affleck's bodybuilding was reported. So, there is no doubting that he will be film-ready to play Batman 
at the time when Suicide Squad 2 is filming. James Gunn's film has cultivated a culture of secrecy, casting big-name actors like Idris Elba, Nathan Fillion, Taika Waititi, and Peter Capaldi, and refusing to reveal who they are playing. So, it would be entirely on brand for this film to bring back Ben Affleck's Batman and keep it secret for as long as possible. However, there may actually be one more clue to not only suggest that Batfleck is coming back, but to shred light on two of the secret characters. Rumor suggests that Nathan Fillion will be playing Green Lantern. Yet, while he's previously voiced Hal Jordan and can probably pull that role off, his appearance and persona would make him a much better fit for a live-action Guy Gardner. Which would suggest that one of Gunn's goals for this film is to recreate a particular scene from Justice League International in which Batman punches Guy Gardner and knocks him out with a single punch. But also, if the Green Lanterns are a part of the film, then Taika Waititi is almost certainly playing Chip. That's right, the lovable chipmunk Green Lantern. And, having said all of this, and taking into account, the incredible secrecy involved, there's one more shocking possibility, and this one is a doozy. Suicide Squad 2 might also be Justice League 2. We could be getting the Justice League vs. Suicide Squad movie, which, when you think about it, would bookend Affleck's time as Batman perfectly. Is all of this completely insane? Yes. But so is James Gunn, so let's not rule any of it out.